el chisme. Hello guys, welcome back to Cheese and Report. I'm your host Danny Flores. Que rock con todos ustedes, guys. We're gonna be talking about or giving guys an update with the whole Ace Fest situation because if you guys don't remember, I uploaded a video where you know Rich Lux and Matt Caster actually got kicked out of the event, and well now it turns out they want to sue the Ace family. But before we get into it, guys, go grab your snacks, come back, sit back, and relax. <laughs> So yes, you heard it right, guys. Matt Caster, I, I believe he's the only one at the moment that wants to sue, wants to take action against the Ace Family because he wasn't let in. And let me tell you, um, in his video, he did say that he felt the Ace Family was homophobic, that they were homophobic, and yeah. But I don't know. Um, as you guys know, I really dislike the Ace Family, but I wouldn't go that far to call them homophobic. I'm not too sure what their issue was, why they didn't let them in. But in my opinion, I do feel like, you know, Matt Caster did a lot of videos against the Ace Family. He dug deep. Shout out to him because without him, we wouldn't have, you know, the receipts and stuff like that. And Rich Lux, he hardly did any videos or like he covers the stories, but not, you know, Ace Family specific. Like he has... A few videos on them. I don't know why they didn't let them in. But anyways, the Ace family, you know, told security, yo, if you see these two people, don't let them in. It's said so by me. I'm just working on the words. Yes, everyone. I, I don't know what these guys are. They're media, I guess. I don't know. In the next Yeah. Who are you with? What media are you with? Uh, we're just lucky. We just got kicked out of Ace Fest. Oh, yeah? Uh, we got 1 million subscribers on YouTube. I wonder why. This is uh, a <laughs> podcaster. Yeah. And security told us that we gotta leave. I mean, I wonder why you guys got kicked out. Yeah, I wonder why. I mean, I guess all that internet stuff you guys do, right? They felt like, you know, there were the only two gay guys that were not let in. The rest, like, such as Def Noodles, The Spill Sesh, Autazi, H3. They were all let in, but Madcaster and Rich Lux do feel a certain way because, you know, they weren't let in. But now it turns out that Madcaster wants to take action, wants to sue the Ace family, and this is what he said. They threw together at the last minute that they don't want it shown to the public and they don't want you guys to see it because they know people are going to say, look, it was a lame ass festival and, you know, but I'm also going to be filing suit against them back in my home state for breach of contract because in the law we have something called minimum contacts where if you want to sue someone in your state and they aren't a resident there whether it's a company or a person they have to have what's called minimum contacts with the state and the fact that Austin and Catherine's the nature of their business is online and they sell tickets and merchandise all over the country means that the court will presume that they have minimum contacts with my state. So I can file a lawsuit, which I'm going to do because it's the principal in my home state against Austin and Catherine McBroom and Ace or Ass Hat Collection no. or whatever the name of their company <laughs> is. And I will show you what's going on with that. So without further ado, I'm going to cut now to all right, so that's what he said. He's going to take action. Um, guys, and if you guys don't know who Matt Gasser is, I do believe he's a lawyer, so he knows what he's talking about. He knows his stuff. And, uh, yeah, I just feel like he might have a case here because he spent all this money for the Ace Family not to let him in, which is like, you should have just let him in. Now you're going to have more trouble if, you know, Matt Gasser goes and pursues his lawsuit. You're going to have more trouble, such as the Ace Family, spending all that money on lawyers and stuff because you did not let him in. But anyways, let's see the next clip. He, um, you know, this is with the, within the same video. He said other stuff when, you know, he was in the car with Rich Lux. So let's see what they had to say about this. Get turned away. Like, what? Yeah. Well, what? and, you know, the, it's, I'm not suing them because they didn't let me in. I'm going to sue them for breach of contract because they took away, when I bought my ticket, they were still offering things that they now don't offer. So that's yeah. a breach of contract. So I'm going to sue them. I don't care if it is only $120. I want to make an example of them and I want to drag them into court and I want to see them in court and mm -hmm. clearly, and we'll have to look and I'll ask it to if I had the money, I'd do the same, but yo, the way my situation is right now, I don't got time to sue people like that. Mm -mm -mm. We'll see if we can use some of his footage, but from what I understand, the rides were really lame from what I understand in the food trucks. Now, 
This is what happens when you do such a shitty job planning a shitty event. Ooh, okay. That you don't tell people that you need to bring cash because most of the food vendors, from when I heard what handful of them there are, do not take credit cards. And yet they gave us no information to say, oh, please bring cash. You're going to need them. So, you know, it just, this is just, it's, it's an ace family ass fest is what it is. It's turned into the ultimate. From what we've seen driving up, it just seems yeah. like a little carnival wow. with the banner that says Ace Fest. Yeah, it yeah. looks like somebody just threw it up on the fence. I strongly knew this was going to happen. Like, I already knew. Like, I was telling you guys since way back, bro, this is just going to be a carnival where, you know, you have down the street. It it was a very small, small carnival. Literally, I had this in my hometown. They would come. They would close down a big street like a main street and have the carnival there it was like two blocks of just rides and stuff yo it was dope growing up um but we would only pay what 10 15 dollars people are paying a hundred five hundred dollars like that's insane and yeah not like if you were paying five hundred dollars i would expect for the food to be free but it wasn't free people had to pay out of their pocket and i guess which is fine you know the vendors are trying to make their money but yeah at the same time same time i'm like yo this is going to get crazy if Madcaster actually follows through with this lawsuit. I want to see what happens because, you know, like I told you guys, he's a lawyer and the Ace family, they should have just let him in, <laughs> honestly, because now they're going to spend more money on lawyers and stuff like that. But yeah, it's going to get interesting, guys. Uh, this is just a little update I wanted to tell you guys. I'll let you guys know because some of you guys were like, yo, did you see this? I'm like, yes, I saw this. This is getting uh, interesting. You know, the Cheese Me Report has it all, guys. But earn that, this is going to be the end of the Cheese Me Report. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you guys have any videos you guys want me to make, comment down below. And I'll see what I could do. But other than that, like I said, hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. My name is Danny, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah.